I was in Surrey jail for th um, uh, a month and a half, and I p girls go in there and guys go in there just to do time, so they won't be like, sleeping out on the out on the street because it's so cold. That's how bad it is out here. In the winter, each day for the homeless in Vancouver is about survival and finding a place to stay warm and dry. Judy Graves has been an advocate for Vancouver's homeless for over 30 years and knows the challenges winter brings. Today looks beautiful because it's sunny, the skies are blue and clear, but it's actually some of the most dangerous weather that we have. The people who are living in the streets have been out in the rain for the better part of a week. They're soaked through to the skin, their feet are wet, their clothing is wet, we can't get them dried out during the day. And when they're out all night and the temperatures drop over the weekend, we're worried that we're going to see deaths from hypothermia. Life on the downtown east side becomes even more difficult when cold temperatures hit. The colder the weather, the less accommodations are available. So. The downtown east side in the winter months is not kind to people. In the summer we can get around and hustle a little bit more and there's things that we can do and places where we can go that in the winter time we can't go. Last winter, for instance, in the shelter that's just over the road from where we stood, we basically went round on the street and found an elderly gentleman who basically was close to being dead. Like we had to literally put him on our back, carry him and try and warm him up. And we obviously the ambulance had to come and everything. Two weeks ago, the BC government and the city of Vancouver announced they will be opening four new temporary shelters like this one. Officials hope to eliminate lineups by providing over 160 spaces for the homeless between the end of November and next May. Advocates like Judy say these shelters are a step in the right direction, but she won't stop until all those in need have a place to call their own. Everybody can have what I have, which is a warm home, uh, bed, blankets, food. Uh, everybody should have that. Thanks to people like Judy, more homeless will spend this winter in a warmer place. Jennifer Ferguson in Vancouver for BCIT Magazine.